Hello, you are welcome to lesson note two. This is our second class in the human nutrition course. Um, today we'll be discussing historical background to the study of nutrition. Historical background to the study of nutrition. Quickly, let's look at it. Uh, the historical background to nutrition, human nutrition dates back to a very long time. Of course, we're talking about food. We're talking about feeding. We're talking about making the right choices, proper planning, and also relating it to health. And so you should understand that uh, you can't really fix a date as to when nutrition became an issue. It has always been. The Bible talks about the Garden of Eden, what to eat, what not to eat, what to touch. And God had his reasons why he probably told them not to eat anything of that fruit. Of course, there's a spiritual dimension to it. And uh, you know, while you grew up, you must have been hearing proverbs. Don't eat what has fallen to the ground. Don't eat anything that was not warm and all that and all that. This uh, historical background that you can associate with nutrition as well. And so it dates back to ancient times, where early nutritional practices were often based on trial and error, influenced by cultural beliefs and also the superstitions. I remember there's a particular clan where if they want to eat any good food, it is better put on the big kokoyam leaf. They rather serve it on the big kokoyam leaf, no matter how beautiful that plate is. It is believed that without that leaf, the presence of that leaf, that food will never be nutrition. In fact, it is not fit for them to eat, let alone the least in that community. So that's that about cultural beliefs and superstition, how much they influence dating from the ancient times. In the 19th century, we had our scientific approaches to nutrition. And it began with early studies on vitamins and essential nutrients and they were researched by scientists such as Leibig and Hopkins which really helped define the role of nutrients in health and indeed this brought a big limelight that set the pace for other scientists to begin further research and improvement on nutrition as a study. In the 1930s we had discovery of essential vitamins vitamin A, B, C, D, E, K, we call it the abdek, which marked different advancements in the field of nutrition. And then we had in the mid 20th century, the role of nutrition in chronic diseases like cardiovascular disease and diabetics became evident. And so if you see somebody has hyperglycemia and it has resulted to diabetes, either type one or type two, at this juncture, it, that such a person will have to be placed under a specific diet. For somebody with cardiovascular disease, looking at the renal profile, I mean the lipid profile, and it has exceeded the normal threshold of 200 milligram per DL for cholesterol, and then you have the HDL, which is less than 40 milligram per DL, and then you have the triglyceride, which is above 150. So you have accumulation of the bad cholesterol in the system and the good cholesterol is on the low run. As a result, you see that such a patient is in danger of cardiovascular disease. And so such a person to manage them to prevent rather than manage alone, it is important that such a person is placed under specific diet. And so we had the National Institute of Health, NIH and the World Health Organization began funding large-scale studies and nutritional programs in order to address public health issues globally because it takes fund to be able to plan such a program that will span through five years, six years of planning. We also have, as part of the historical background in the late 20th century, and remember we are in the 21st century. Now in the late 20th century, up till now, with the rise of the chronic diseases, non-communicable diseases, communicable diseases, there has been an increased focus on nutrition's role in disease prevention, health promotion, and then global health security. No doubt you will see that there are some nutritionists today who are experts such that in certain diseases, the consultant will require their input 
to give advice for example diabetic patients or best uh, a case of obesity a patient with cardiovascular diseases and then you have patients also with immune disorders uh, they are you know their expertise is sought in order to know what this patient can take in fact there are some of them that uh, may not be able to take strong food for example those prepared for surgical procedure after the surgical procedure they may not be able to take solid food and so they have to take paste fluid food and so on and so these nutrients are put together properly planned by the nutritionist and so you see the role of nutrition has come a long way and it will help health promotion like it has always done and improving global food security ensuring that there is food for the country and we have public health nutrition now integrates the disciplines of medicine you find it in medicine you find it in public health like you're a student now and you're learning it you also find it epidemiology and social sciences to address issues like obesity undernutrition and malnutrition and that's why the who unicef and other organizations like the UNDP never never jokes with issues of undernutrition and malnutrition when there is a war ravaging a country crisis they are concerned on how to take food to the refugee camp so that we don't have people come down with undernutrition uh, you have case of kwashoko you have the immune compromise and when their immune is compromised they come down with all form of diseases and they die and so health is key if you take your nutrition very serious and that's why today you are learning and that makes you an ambassador of um, human nutrition in public health to teach to train to provide the campaign and let enlighten the public on the beauty of adapting good lifestyle engaging good nutrition and understanding the importance of nutrition for us as human beings that comes to the end we come to the end of um, lesson two historical background to the study of nutrition please take notes questions will be asked on specific areas that have highlighted as you can see on the screen i'll see you in lesson three thank you very much see you in the next class bye